welcome back to farming simulator 22 and another video in the most profitable animals series that i did a while ago and someone pointed out that i had missed out beef um so the way i do these videos i set up kind of a little farm to uh, see if it is economical to run the animal as a farm and then go through some of the details on some of the finances so we have brought ourselves field 21 on erlengrat put down one of the base game cow sheds and a little shed to put all our kit in and a manure spawn point um, there are much cheaper animals placeable about now so that does change the economics there are cheaper tractors and everything else and uh, i don't use any of them so we're going to get ourselves 45 of the smallest angus beef cattle uh, which was up 15 16 000 dollars and then or pounds and we're going to get ourselves set up with a farm so we're going to need a small tractor we're going to need some mowers and um, because we do we're well, we doing cows we need mowers balers windrows that kind of thing to make ourselves some silage and hay to make some tmr uh, so I spent a bit of time faffing about which tractor to use. As I said, there are modded tractors which are much cheaper, modded animal placers which will change the economics of is a farm viable, but they don't change the uh, some of the numbers I'll talk about later, which is looking at how the animals pan out for uh, profitability versus what you spend on them and the cost of uh, you know, the different inputs and stuff. Um, so we've got ourselves pretty much everything that we need at this point we are going to be selling the manure and the slurry to the bga just for a little bit of income because with beef obviously you don't produce anything except the beef at the end that you sell well i say that beef do have carbs so you could uh, buy yourself some mature beef cattle and then sell the calves off um, what i have done here is buy the youngest beef cattle you can do and we'll look at how their value changes as they as they mature um they're so just making some hay from the headlands we're going to actually mow the wheat crop that's in the field and make straw to put in the tmr as well you don't need to uh, and then get this field planted or seeded with grass and just go through making hay and silage for tmr i don't actually show you much more of this because it's kind of repetitive if you've seen one of those videos before the other thing i don't do is we end up with quite an excess of silage and hay and you could sell that as well as you go through to uh, keep some money coming in so i run this these mini farms for two years to look at the economics of how they work out Beef cattle actually reached their peak value at three years. Um, that's three and a half thousand pounds, dollars or euros per cow at that point. Hmm, seems I uh, need to drop that bit out. No, oh, no, maybe not. I'll leave it in. Yeah. yeah, so about three. So the peak value is three and a half thousand dollars at three years old. We only ran it to two years, so you could make a little bit more if you kept them for even longer and you also will start getting calves at 28 months so they can the beef cow mature at 18 months and it takes 10 months to have the first calf so yeah um if you keep you could keep a call for longer um because animals don't die in farm sim 22 so you could keep a core breeding set and then sell off the calves every however often you wanted to maybe every 10 months so that you uh don't run out of space um the other things you can do with things like beef cow because you're not worried about them producing milk um you could not feed them they won't die um so you could and it kind of simulates season grazing so you could for example buy the young beef cow that i brought here keep them for as long as you want to keep them with them grazing on the grass that's in their pasture um, their health health will stay at zero percent um, but as soon as you feed them tmr the next month it will be back up at 100 percent, and they achieve their peak value um, someone pointed that tip out to me in uh, one of the other videos i did on most profitable animals i think it was on the horses one so you uh, you don't actually need to feed them if you don't want to they can graze um, i'm doing air quotes there which i hate but you know uh, yeah so you could get the animals to just graze on uh, the crop that's in their pasture for however long you wanted to keep them and then you could i guess simulate fattening them with tmr which will jump their health up and instantly their value to whatever it would have been if you'd fed them anyway if you want to breed them obviously your breeding stock you would uh, you would need to feed tmr because you need them to be healthy to have calves but yeah, it's a bit a bit of background there let's look at the finances and basically as you would expect uh, so 
of zeroing out the costs for setting the farm up, you're basically losing money because I had a fairly big loan and uh, the uh, there's a bit of building maintenance cost, loan interest, cost for water in the barn. And um, eventually it got to the point where certainly the, the building maintenance and the water costs were being covered by selling the slurry and manure, but the loan interest was basically costing us money all the way through. And then if we'd suddenly decided to sell the calves at the very end, or the beef cow at that point, they wouldn't have been calves, we would have made a nice healthy chunk of cash. Um, so, if we had sold them right at the very end i had forgotten to load up my spreadsheet i've got all my grass but not my spreadsheet um at that end point the uh the beef cow were worth 135,000 pounds dollars or euros for the 45 that we had so you see we had a nice big jump in uh, our income you'd have to go and buy some new ones but you could run it that way you could keep them for a couple of years and then sell them off they were worth uh, three thousand each i believe at that point yeah at the two-year point um whether it's worth keeping them for a bit longer i am not so sure the uh the increase in value is um it's kind of linear so you know the longer you keep them the more they'll be worth but actually maybe not at this point i think it slows down after the uh after year two yeah, because you're only going to gain another five hundred dollars in peak value for that extra year so you're probably better to sell them maybe at the two-year point um looks like you're probably going to be halving your uh yeah you're about halving the gain in value at the, the, the two-year point so i think if you're going to do them this way you probably keep them for two years if you're going to do them so that you uh, you keep some breeding stock and sell the calves off, then uh, I think if you if you've got a space concern, again keep them for two years. If you have a space concern, I'd keep them for the for nine ish months, um, so you can sell them off just before you have the next set of calves. And at the nine month point, they're going to be worth. They're probably going to be worth you know, nine hundred thousand per animal so you're making a good income there pretty much so that is that is a way of doing it so the purpose of this series is to compare the most profitable animals so i do this two ways the first one is just the straight per animal how much profit are you going to make on them um this bias is slightly on the value of the animal so you'll see that um chickens appear to do really badly um the data I've got in here of chickens is a little bit out of date because it was before the update. Um, I'm redoing that at the moment. So I'll, I'll read, I'm redoing the chicken video. Um, these videos take quite a long time to put together because of the way I do the kind of mini farm. Um, but yeah, so actually you're looking at the kind of the lighter green line uh, that runs along the top. And beef cattle are actually pretty good. They run slightly better than horses. Um, Dairy cows overtake them once you start getting a lot more um, milk produced as the cows mature. But actually, beef cattle are a pretty good option for a nice steady source of income. Um, you're going to need to run it in such a way that you are either buying and selling, if you need cash flow, buying and selling fairly frequently, or um, having that cycle of beef calves being produced and you raising them up a bit and selling them on. But yeah, um, per animal, really good source of income really good option um one of the best along with dairy yeah. beef cattle well cat, cows in general do really good um, actually if we go so the next graph that i've got up here um I decided to look at it on in terms of what you're spending on the animal because as i say it's very biased by the value of the animal and actually beef cattle are insane at that point um so they are better than chickens were to the point where I'm just questioning myself and double checking my numbers, but yeah, I have got it right. Um, yeah, so uh, actually, for the amount you spend on the animals, beef cattle are currently the best earning animal in the game, it appears to me. Um, better than chickens were before the update, and I think chickens are going to actually fare worse once I've redone this because playing the game and raise, running a chicken farm, they seem to be worse, they don't seem to be as good as they were pre-update uh, they actually seem to produce eggs as well i think i think that's what it is um so yeah beef cattle really good i guess other things to talk about um you don't need to give them straw because 
currently so this is before the 1.3 update this may change but before the 1.3 update giving cow straw only affects milk production beef cow don't produce milk so they don't affect anything you get the same amount of manure and slurry and their health is 100 percent. so there is no point giving these cows straw unless you want to role play it um the beds look a bit bare without any straw in but from a from a pure gameplay mechanics point of view there is no point giving them straw so and actually you could probably just give them hay um seems to give them 100 percent health i haven't run through and checked the all the values for it though um i think the way i'm probably going to play it, so i'm planning to put beef on calmston um i've got a a custom open cow yard that uh one of our friends made for me to put into field eight and probably what i'm going to do is uh buy some mature beef cow get them to have calves put the calves on the pasture so they're going to be eating the grass in the field um until just before i'm ready to sell them and then i will fatten them on tmr and uh that will be a low cost way of raising beef cow to make money and i think you know once you're a few months in so probably once you know, keep them you you could keep them for about nine ten months and uh probably what i'll do sell them off just before the uh, next lot of calves are born i think is going to be my plan for that so i i think that's it on this one uh, not as long a video as, as i was expecting so i need to redo my edit but yeah beef cow are a a really good option for bringing in some cash better than i think they were in fs19 if you found this video useful and i should have said it at the start because i'm breaking the youtube rules because you have to say it at the start if you found this useful click the subscribe button if you want and turn on notifications so you get notifications of my pretty much daily farms and videos leave me a comment below and uh hit the like button remember we do not smash like buttons they're really important i need the likes if you smash it you have to buy me a coffee the link for that is below and i'll catch you next time on fs22